Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Eden Zero, Chapter 29. Uh, we last left our heroes. After escaping Gilst, the crew of the Eden Zero sat around and discussed the other two Starshines, Valkyrie and Hermit, uh, where we learned that Homer's sword comes from Valkyrie, and Valkyrie was her master at one point. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, cops, whose actual organization name I forget, are talking about how in the aftermath of the Gilst Calamity, a member of the Eracion Seis Galactica escaped named Draken Joe. Uh, that's where we leave off. Going to Chapter 29, Iron Hill. Oh, also, uh, Moscow was revealed to be a reprogrammed robotic servant of Ivory, and now he's back on our side, so he's... Uh, He's on the team now. Here's him in the cover picture with uh, Pino and Happy, our robot trio. Uh, anyway, we open on the Eden Zero as they're flying through the cosmos. Uh, as Homura and uh, Happy and Rebecca are all relaxing in the spa. Ah, uh, I forgot how nice the spa of Eden was. You already gave it a name, Rebecca? Uh, and we see Homura is deeply uncomfortable. We don't know why. Uh, and Rebecca turns around and notices that. What's wrong? You're just sitting there. This is all part of my training. Training? The average person simply can't handle the heat of this hot water. What? Is it really that hot? According to, according to my sensors, it's only 45 degrees Celsius. And she's like sweating and like face flushed. I've been thinking for a while now. Do you also have ether gear? I'm assuming you're using your powers to endure this hot water. And we see the ether markings on Rebecca's hand because the uh, the spa of Eden, which I guess is its name now, um, uh, can it activates her ether, her ether powers. You know, oh no, I don't have ether gear, not yet anyway. You just hate hot baths. Um. Uh. So then they then I, I get I guess Rebecca tells uh tells Homer what they found out a while ago because we cut to what. Frequent baths in this water water will grant the ability to use ether gear. Yeah, hopefully. So just as I suspected, you two are training. Um, no. What kind of power do you wish to use? You get to choose. You haven't learned anything yet, then possibly. In that case, something like auto aim, perhaps. You see, I love guns. If an ether gear could hit, could help me hit my targets every single time, that would be great. Guns. Yep. Happy. Let's show her. Aye, sir. And Happy, Happy turns into his ether gun form. Whoa! Uh, and Homura stands up. It and readies her swords. <laughs> it would be an honor to have a duel with you. Oh no! I voiced my thoughts, my thoughts out loud again. Huh? A duel here? Is that a problem? We're in the bath and naked. It would look quite silly. Thank you. Um, well placed cloud there, keeping this a PG thirteen rating. Uh, meanwhile, in the, in the, uh, the vault in the bottom of the ship, uh, Wise and, uh, not Wise, um, Witch and Ivory are, uh, drinking around at a table. It's nice being able to talk to you again. It's been ten whole years, huh? And you've been on the ship this whole time, and Moscow is, uh, pouring Ivory her drink. Indeed, I am the Shield of Edens. It's my job to defend it. Although, in reality, it was Lady Elsie that provided most of the defending. The little girl who was attached to Ziggy? She's grown into a fine young woman, though she is a pirate. I can't wait to see Valkyrie and Hermit again. Yeah, we shall assemble the team back together and head out of the cosmos. That reminds me. That tiny boy. That's the next gen, huh? Pino? Wait, what? Huh? That little bot is someday going to be the Light of Edens. Wait, 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 wait. Pino's a boy? Huh? Okay. Um. But we do get a little bit about Elsie here. I don't think we knew specifically that she was, like, attached to Ziggy ten years ago. I mean, it makes sense there was some connection between them. But this kind of implies that, like, Elsie was, like, following Ziggy around everywhere. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, and Ivory kind of, like, smiles at the thought of that. Um, and, uh, Moscow <laughs> peeks, uh, speaks up. Excuse me, but am I part of Eden's? Huh? Sure. You're the pig of Eden's. I am overwhelmed with joy. Muskoi! 
Uh, okay, Moscow, Moscow's still being Moscow. Uh, meanwhile, um, Shiki hands Rebecca a B-cube? It's my B-cube! I found a back metal tower. Sorry, I forgot to give it to you. Oh, it's the, it's her, her personal B-cube. No worry, it uh, puts it back around her neck. Thank you, Shiki. So that cube can make three-dimensional videos? Oh, I love why I think I think you saw Wise's hoodie last week, but I fucking love Wise's hoodie. It's so it's just a nice design for him. It really fits. So that cube can make three dimensional videos. Yep, I have one too. The professor gave them to us as a gift. Really? Now that you mention it, have you been able to contact the professor? I think he must have gone really far. We can't get through to him. Oh, that feels like it'll be important for the next arc. He can be pretty flaky sometimes, and uh, Beta Wise speaks up. Why are you looking at me when you say that? Uh, but Shiki interrupts them. What if he's already out of the cosmos? Maybe he's trying to find Mother. Uh, and Wise just looks at him. Wait, where's Homura? Oh yeah, we made a deal before I agreed to bring her to the Eden Zero. Um, wait, what, what was that? I don't remember. Um, did we find out what was going on with Wise and Homura's deal? I feel like we knew about it, but I don't know if they uh, explained what it was. Uh, but Moscow, uh, is in the room. Wait, what's my deal for being here? And Ivory just smirks. You're to serve me, that's all. Well, uh, it cuts back to, um, one of Witch's massages. I can give you an oil massage, electric massage, and even a torture and pleasure massage. Which would you like me to give you? I can't say it aloud, but that last one's making me really curious. <laughs> uh, Rebecca, like, freaks out, or snaps to attention hearing that. Um, and then why, which kind of smirks, this is part of my training, and it's the massage scene, I, my, whatever, at least restore it this time. I can picture it in my head, training surely is awesome, uh, Wise, Wise is a firm, firm, the, the pervert character, the, the Sanji archetype, um, Shiki, Shiki, I don't think he's seeing that as as even, like, vaguely sexual, let's be honest. Anyway, she's gonna be down for a while. Uh, but Happy, Happy is confirmed about that deal. A deal, huh? What are you trying to make Homura do? It's nothing too perverted. Too perverted? You know the room in Eden Zero that makes clothes for us? The wardrobe? Hermit used to love that place. Me too. The deal was that she has to pick wear the clothes I pick out for her. Your face says you want to make her wear something skimpy. Uh, but that's actually a really cool room. Did it, did it make Wise's super cool hoodie? Because again, I love that hoodie. She would look great in a bunny girl suit. And, uh, Shiki speaks up. Hey, I want to wear a bunny girl suit too. I said girl. Only female members can equip that armor. Uh, Pino responds, who we learn might, who I don't know what's up with Pino. In that case, would I be able to equip it? Uh, but, um... Uh, Rebecca's BQ beeps. Uh, it's from Claris. Display her on the big monitor. Uh, and they put her on the big monitor. Rebecca, you're okay? Wah! I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. You've made so many friends. That reminds me, is the Guildmaster okay? Yeah, I was told the Guildmaster escaped before getting loaded onto the ship. Even the Master was worried about you. The Master is still not being shown. I have heard theories that the Master might be, um... Um, uh, hermit, because, like, we've never seen him, so, or, or her, uh, so they're a hermit, you know? That's good to know. Uh, but we get some dot dot dots from, uh, from Ivory, you don't know what that's about. We're heading back to Blue Garden now, so you can tell me all about everything when we get there. So about that, you might want to stay away from Blue Garden for now. What do you mean? The whole incident's been all over the media and the news. Here, I'll show you a snippet. Uh, we cut to a news reporter. Who reminds me of the of the head commentator from the Grand Magic Games back in Fairy Tale, the kidnapping of the Bee Cubers, then a chronophage, leading to a gutsy escape from the most vile planet. What exactly happened there? Uh, and it's uh, Couch Po is being interviewed. This girl named Rebecca. She gave us all the courage to escape. Couch Po, wait, she's talking about me? And Moscow gets a crush on her. The, uh, it's the the fake badass and the tiny girl. This girl's got guts. I hope she'll co collab with me on a video. You should all go and watch Becky's videos. Our news team have been on the lookout to find the, this woman only known as Rebecca. So you get the idea. Uh, and Re Rebecca is, you know, 
freaking out, blushing. Everyone's a little crazy over Rebecca right now. What? This is so embarrassing. Rebecca, our channel, and <laughs> Happy, Happy's doing the smart thing and checking on their views. Our views have skyrocketed, but they're all bad ratings. What? That's awesome. This is what you guys wanted, right? No, it's not, Shiki. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who promoted me. Thank you, everyone, even though we're getting bad ratings. So maybe you should wait till the excitement calms down a little. The guild is in a frenzy. They're surprised to have someone like you in our ranks. Our guild members really only care about themselves, do they? Take care. Thanks, Claris. We can't waste this chance. We should make a new video this instant. Aye, sir. How about one with me and a dan- with And Shiki, Shiki pops in. How about one with me dancing in a bunny girl suit? I love that idea! It's not hard to figure out why you guys get bad ratings. <laughs> If we can't return to Blue Garden, then do we get new? Then where do we get new leads on the Shining Stars? Uh, and Ivory responds, "I have a few leads, but enough of that. Look, we're near Iron Hill. Iron Hill, over there. Uh, we see our chapter title, uh, and it's this, this, um, this like structure. Uh, I'm sure you can see it on page 17. Uh, it's like a star that's been like stabbed with like a spear, a double-ended spear." And it's all made of iron, I imagine. Whoa! That's amazing. And there's a figure standing on the edge. That's the Colossus of Olgia, a hero that lived through the Dark Ages. There have been all kinds of references to the Dark Ages all throughout this series. I'm curious what we're going to go with them. So we know Aether Gear is like technology from the Dark Ages. Now we have Olgia. Uh, I'm curious what's going to evolve from that. But anyway, the Eden Zero approaches the Colossus of Olgia... So huge! Sure is. No joke. Oh, and why is, why is eyeing Rebecca's boobs? Uh, anyway. Oh, the oh shit, I did not notice how small it is. Okay. Or how big, how small the Eden Zero is in comparison. Because the Eden Zero is maybe like the size, like maybe the size of the, the statue's neck. There's another statue behind it. Yeah, you're right. The hero Arcelin. Behind that is Nikolaus and Urokloa. How many of them are there? I think there used to be twelve. They are the heroes who guarded the Sakura Cosmos during the Dark Ages. Awesome. The Heavenly Knights of the Dancing Sakura. The Guardians of Blue Garden. Okay. So, how prominent is Blue Garden in this world, in this universe's history? Because, like, the, the Knights of the Sakura Cosmos are also called the Guardians of Blue Garden? Okay. Um... Space is so cool. I live on Blue Garden, yet I had no idea. Uh, and Pino looks in shock. What's the matter, Pino? I can see someone over there. And on the on the head of the statue. But how can a person be out in space? Wait, you're right. There is There really is someone out there. Put it up on the monitor. Zoom in. I know I said I had a few leads, but I didn't think my first one would be correct. Are you reading my mind, Hermit? Well, there goes any uh, theories about uh, the Master. The Master is not Hermit, because here is Hermit standing on a statue. Uh, to be continued, Chapter 30, Super Virtual Planet. All right. So this was another uh, transition chapter. Uh, moving through, moving from Gils into, I don't know if it's going to be a full, like, Iron Hill arc, or if we're going to, like, stop by, pick up Hermit, and scram. I don't imagine it's going to be that simple. Uh, especially given that we're only, like, chapter 30, and we're almost done with, like, the, the, um, everything we need to do to leave the Sakura Cosmos. I mean, like, even, even One Piece, which is, to me, the, the closest, like, story structure we have to, um, to Eden Zero, waited a hundred chapters to get to the Grand Line, you know, um... But no, it looks like we're gonna be moving out, out of the Sakura Cosmos fairly soon at this rate. You know, Hermit's already here. Even if we get a good, a, like, I, I can't imagine if there's an arc here, it'll last more than 10 to 15 chapters, you know? Uh, Super Virtual Planet, though, kind of implies we're going to another planet right after this, so maybe not even. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, chapter itself is good, you know. Uh, it's Eden Zero. Eden Zero's damn good at this point. Um, we get a bit more... Uh, we get a bit more useless information about Homer, that she's just really bad with hot baths. Um, meanwhile, Rebecca is continuing on with her uh, ether gear goals by, by bathing. Um, 
Uh, what else do we have? There's that one bit, that tiny... Oh, oh shit, I'm very stupid. I am very stupid. I am very fucking stupid. I can't fucking read. Okay, so I, I, call, I said the line, the last panel on ch page uh, 8. That, that reminds me, that tiny boy, that's the next gen. It's not boy, it's bot. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so fucking stupid, y'all. I can't fucking read. Uh, yeah, the tiny bot. Sorry about the confusion. I'm real fucking dumb. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Pino. I don't know what exactly Pino will end up becoming in the plot. Um, someday is going to be, be the light of Eden's. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, beyond that, we have more development on the, the B cubes. The B cube plot lines, uh, as such there is, as um, Rebecca's channel was blowing up in response to her being a badass. Uh, but no one likes her content, so I don't know if she's going to develop her content to be more appealing or if she's going to keep doing her thing. I want her to keep doing her thing, though. I, I, I can respect that. Uh, but anyway, then we have some more lore with the, the Heavenly Knight to the Dancing Sakura. Uh, and the Iron Hill planet. Uh, I imagine once we leave Sakura Cosmos, though, these guys are kind of not going to be a thing, given that they're part of the Sakura Cosmos' mythology. Uh, and so I imagine we're going to have at least some time to deal to get to know these guys, or get to know their legends at the very least. Uh, or maybe maybe Mashima's just populating his world with random bits of history to make it feel more more lived in. And I can respect that. Uh, I criticized in my latest fairy tale review. Mashima just never being very good at world building, but if this is just elaborate world building without any point of the story besides just world building, honestly, good on you for growing, Mashima. Good on you. Uh, but then, yeah, we found Hermit, and that's where we leave off. So I'm going to leave this video off here, I think. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe or do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, it's bot, not boy.